Hi, YouTube. Um, another Tokyo Tips video. This one's going to be a little bit longer than usual. Um, because this is a video I've been wanting to make for a really long time, but I've I've been wondering if I should make it or not. And at this point, YouTube's been pretty good to me, so I I want to put out this information so everyone can access this information. Um, actually, this information took me quite a while to compile. Ha 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 ha, get it? I'm rhyming. Ha 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 ha, you know, I didn't even mean to. Anyway, this is Tokyo Tips number... And we're gonna talk about lesbians. Yep. Um, girls being, not, not, not just lesbians, bisexual girls, girls being queer in Japan. What's it like? Um, I've seen a lot of people making videos but the information has been limited because maybe they haven't really had experience so <laughs> um, I wanted to at least share the information that I have gathered to hopefully help out anybody who wants to know um, I can't tell you about any other city besides Tokyo but I'll tell you what I know about Tokyo and let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm sorry if I if my eyes dart away from the screen. I did actually write up quite a bit of notes for this one. But uh, anyway, I, I'd like to get started. First of all, um, when I first came to Japan, I was 17. I was a high school student in Osaka. Um, girls and boys here, generally younger, will be physically close and stereotypically more physically close than say at least North Americans in my own experience because it's not considered gay at all um, homophobia I don't know if it runs as deep as it does at least in the United States but if it if it runs as deep it's not as apparent um, but there, people let's put it this way Gay people aren't exactly out in Japan at all, so it's kind of like don't ask, don't tell here. Um, but anyway, when I first came to Japan, girls and guys were physically close with each other and it wasn't really considered gay. Um, I had a lot of my female classmates like try to hold my hand while walking down the street and not having been here before, I at first I actually interpret, I misinterpreted it. I was like, wow, are these girls all romantically interested in me? That's strange, That because that just seems disproportionate. Um, no, that's actually not the case. You will see girls holding hands here all the time. It's extremely common, everyday thing. Um, and it tends to go through all ages. And I guess like a lot of that, the fact that they're not like, ew, that's so gay or anything, a lot of it, I think maybe because they feel comfortable with each other physically it could be because of the bath culture i'm not exactly sure but that's that it is what it is what it is um so i misinterpreted that at first but after i started um studying here as a college student i kind of got the message like oh okay they, they just do it um i okay this video is mostly for g girls women i you know i'm not a guy so i don't really know what it's like to be a gay man in japan um, and, but anyway, and so I'm, I'm going to speak from a woman's experience. Um, what is the girl love or lesbian or women bisexual scene like in Japan? Um, traditionally lesbians have been projected in Japan as being a bit butch as we might say in Western culture. Um, but these days it's a little bit easier to spot queer girls who are not necessarily mannish or butch. Um, when I first started observing the gay culture here, one big obstacle that I fell upon was slang. Of course, in any language you're going to have slang for the queer culture, and Japan has its own slang as well. Um, I'll tell you some really useful terms for women. Um, I actually came across this, I learned them from Mixie. Um, Mixie is like my space for Japan, basically. Um, uh, one of the terms, the first term is tachi, tachi, which means a dominant girl. This doesn't mean butch, 
but it tends to be a direct, active, strong girl who takes the lead in things. The opposite of that would be neko. Neko. Um, I'm not sure if it has any connection to neko, the cat. I, I really don't know. Um, but that's pretty much opposite. Passive, cute acting. What we would say in Japan, sort of amaeru, like being sweet to get attention. Yeah, kind of like, you know, princess. Um, then you have riba. Riba. Which is short for reversible. And it means someone who is neither tachi nor neko, but just a mix of the both. Or just someone who doesn't label themselves as either. Um, as for looks, boyish. Boyish is boyish. And that looks like a guy. Well, what? Would stereo it looks like a stereotypical image. Girls with shorter hair, you know, things like that. Um, femme. Femme. Is femme. Feminine. Well, it's stereotypically feminine. I'm, all, of, all of these things are so subjective. Anyway, um, there's one more term I've heard. Um, I'm not a pro on this term. Tora. Tora. Which is not tiger. It's short for I don't know if it's transgender or transsexual, but Toda is trans. Um, I don't know if it's only specific for female to male or male to female, but I just I just happen to know that it tends to be um, a term for trans. Um, a couple other terms you may see is stereotypical drag queen. You might see uh, guys who dress as older women is okama, okama. And Okama is just Okama, and pretty everybody knows Okama. Um, and then there is, gosh, there's. I'm tr I'm trying to think. There was one. Oh yeah, new half, uh, and new half is usually uh, male to female. Um, but I don't believe there's actual bottom surgery going on there. Um, yeah. Anyway, if let's say you are a girl and you want to meet other girls, what do you do? Um, one big way to do it is to use Mixi. Um, and once, like I said before, Mixi is a social networking site. Um, you can go to communities that are labeled the les, les, which is lesbian, les, or bi, which is bisexual, um, communities. And there are actually like kanojo, boshu, chu, so searching for girlfriend communities or tomodachi boshuchu, which is searching for friends, communities. And you can meet a lot of women who are actually open online. Um, however, I don't know how open they are offline. So online can be a great way to meet girls initially um, and you start emailing them. Um, another way would be to just go directly to gay town, and that is Nichome. Um, Nichome is just sort of the short nickname of the area. It's Shinjuku Nichome. And Nichome means basically like second block or second neighborhood. Um, it's in Shinjuku. And I can't like, I'm, I can't even remember like the exact street. Like the street that it runs down is called Friendly Street. And I, but I can tell you exactly pretty much how to get there. So listen up. Let's say you want to go to Nichome. You have to go to the Shinjuku JR uh, train station, go out the east exit, um, go towards Studio Alta, which is the department store, and then hang a right. You're going to be going towards ABC Mart, the big shoe store. Keep going down the lard, the main drag, that main street. You're going to go a couple blocks, and you're going to see a koban, or police box, on the left. Keep going, and then you're going to see Isetan on the left. Keep going. After Isetan stops, you're going to see another main intersection. Across the street and to the, to the I'm, I know I'm motioning because I don't even know what my camera, but across the street to the left, you're going to see, I think it's an H&M now? Go across the street, turn left, go towards H&M, and then cut right into that neighborhood. Walk two blocks directly through that neighborhood, you're going to come to another pretty large street crossing and then directly across the street at dead ahead of you you're gonna see a curry an Indian curry restaurant I think it's like spice I think it's called spice garden something like that cross the street go past spice garden you're in Nichome um, on the right you're gonna see a club called Artie Farty and then once you get into Nichome it, if it's at night you will know that you were there um, 
Nishome is a pretty great place. It's small. It really only extends on one main street, that's Friendly Street, um, with a few bars branched on the side. It's mostly bars and clubs. Um, that's pretty much all it is. And there, there are certain stores, like ad adult stores, but as far as I've seen, they all have pictures of naked men on the outside of them, so I have this feeling that they're catering mostly to gay guys. Um, I haven't seen the equivalent for women. I'm not really sure. I haven't really. I don't really go into the adult stores, so I'm not sure. I just see a bunch of like naked men posters on the outside. So I, that's just what I'm figuring from my observation. Um, Nishome is good um, because you can go to bars that are only guys. You can go to bars that are only girls, or mixed. Um, depending on the area, like the place, they may be like only guys or only girls until a certain time and like at 2 a.m. or something and then it opens up to gay mix. Um, y knowing Japanese is pretty important. Um, I've, I've met a few like foreigners there that speak English, but most of the Japanese people who are in the area and like the signs and stuff, there's a little bit of English, but you're really better off if you know Japanese. Um, that way you can sort of read the times and the schedules, and that's pretty important. Um, anyway, for like as far as women's only bars goes, uh, go there are a couple. There's a couple ones that I've been to. There's one called Kins Women, which is the apparently, from what I've heard, it's the original go-to place for girls. It's been around for quite a while. Um, it's a nice place, actually. The only the only downside is that you have to walk up like six flights of stairs to get there. Like it's just a lot of stairs, but whatever. Um, it's a pretty spacious bar, and I think like the cast or staff of L Word actually visited there a couple years ago. Um, so it's kind of a sort of famous place. Um, there is also Ade Zakura, which is in this. I think it's like the same exact building that Kins Women's in, but it's on the first floor. And um, it's women only until 2 a.m., I believe, and then it's mixed. Um, and I've been in there. They're extremely stringent with gender codes. I've seen guys actually try to come in. The bartenders will come in and just push guys out and be like, hey, you can't be in here. Um, so it seems like they're pretty strict about it. Um, yeah, I know that is actually gender discrimination, but yeah, well, that, that still kind of flies in this country as a whole, so that didn't really surprise me. Um, another bar which is really cool, it's Miracle, it's called Miracle Girls, and I, I haven't really figured out what the story is behind this bar. I've, like, I've been there a few times, and I don't know what the bar normally operates as. I don't know if it's, like, a new half bar, or an Okama bar, or a girl bar, but I only go on Sunday nights when they're doing, um, there is an event called Diamond Holic, which is in connection with an event called Diamond Cutter, and like it's girls only like Sunday night, and they they open really early. They open at five, and they go into like last train, so they they're not open terribly late, um, but they have like this neat little this cool system where you can go in. It's called like Secret Love Coaster System, and when you sit down, the bartender will come and ask. They'll like give you a chart. And it shows like different colored coasters for like your purpose of going to the bar. So it's like if you're looking for if like if you're looking for a girlfriend, they'll give you a circle coaster. But you have to say like your type. Like if you like femme, they'll give you like a pink coaster. And then if you like boyish, like they'll give you like a brown coaster. But if you it, there's one that just says just looking for friends, and then they give you a square coaster. So like when you talk to people in the bar, you can just look at their coaster and kind of figure out, like, what, why they're there. Which actually, in bars in general, that's helpful. I think that's helpful. Like, if you're going to a pickup bar, I think that's extremely helpful if you're straight, gay, or whatever. I wish all bars had that, actually. Or maybe a coaster that just said, like, leave me alone. That'd be a good coaster. Anyway, um... Let's see. There's, and then there's also events. Um, you know, like club events, usually all night. I've never been to actually. I've never been to any of these events because um, because I just have a crappy schedule. Um, but I'll tell you about some ones that I know about. I think the, one of the most popular ones is Diamond Cutter. Um, I'm gonna put links in the bottom so I know Diamond Cutter. It's usually on a Friday night and it's like once a month. There's Panache. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Panache. 
and then Goldfinger, which is another pretty popular one, and that's held on a different night. I, I don't know, but I'll put um, links to the websites there. And but I've I've heard good things about them. I heard they're they're pretty good. Um, as far as like queer couples being open here, I've never seen it. I've never seen it outside of Nichome. If you go into Nichome, you're going to see like queer couples doing PDA. Um, and I see actually I've seen it I've seen more men than women do it too, which I which is kinda interesting. Um, but if you go outside Nichome it's extremely difficult to spot or you just don't see it. I I've definitely seen it much more in the United States. I, I've I can't even think of a single time where I've seen it here. At all. At all, ever. Um, so that's kind of, you know, that's indicative of the culture there. Um, people are not exactly open if, if they're not in their safe place here. Um, speaking of safe, this is something that's kind of interesting. Um, is Nichome safe for women? Like, can women go there and feel safe? Well, once again, speaking from my own experience, I think you can go to Nichome as a woman. I go there by myself quite a bit, as safe as anywhere else in Japan would be. I mean, like, and I say this, like, you are not, you are not suddenly ignored by straight men who happen to be in the area. I'm just gonna say that. Or the gay men, I don't know, I, I, I have no idea. But, um, that, even though that didn't really make sense. Anyway, I've, because I've been in Nichome, and I've had guys approach me being like, hey, and I was like, oh, hey, cool, but I was like, wow, I just got hit on by a straight guy in Nichome, so that's like, huh? Um, so that's happened. I've, I've also been groped a lot, um, by guys in gay clubs, um, really crowded clubs, I think, it was mostly already farty, where, like, people's hands kept going to my butt and to my chest, and I'm looking around, expecting, because it was a gay club, that it would be a girl, but it's guys! It was guys! And I was like, huh? Um, and I, I, I was just like, what? That doesn't even make sense! Unless there was, like, straight guys going to gay clubs think, think, thinking that women would have their guard down at a gay club, which is actually kind of cunning, but really despicable at the same time. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all of the notes I have had written up for this video. I, I hope this information has helped someone. Yay! Okay, bye!